What's up, Houston, Texas? Listen, this rain ruined my soccer day today, man. I woke up, was starting to get ready to go out, and it was just starting to storm, and it hasn't really stopped raining, and other people have got hell around the city, so it's crazy weather, man, ruining my plans. As, as you all know, I believe today they actually open up Texas parks, uh, to the to the public, not that I was abiding by that, but um, the last time I played was maybe two weeks ago, so I was uh, really looking forward to that. But anyways, man, today let's talk about the safety group. Um, this is the reason I want to talk about the safety group. Bill O'Brien, uh, in his press conference, talked about the fact that besides pass rushing and air rushing, both in the inside and the outside, he mentioned that uh, what was important... Um, was the safety group that they were looking at in this draft. Now, uh, if you look at my mock draft, I believe the safety that I've gotten, uh, Kayvon from Clemson, is a player who we don't have to reach for and will be there uh, both in the third and the fourth round. Uh, so, uh, that's and I really hope that that's the safety that they go after. Um, yesterday, uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday, I actually got a text from from my friend who actually told me that the Jets had reached out to the Texans um, and had offered Jamal Adams. Now, um, some of the reports were, were telling me that McKinney was on the trade block to make that swap. Uh, I'm not sure what else, what other details that entails. I'm not sure if they were asking for another uh, draft pick uh, as compensation. Um, a lot of people really didn't make sense of it because obviously the Jets have inside linebackers, but when you really look at that position for the Jets, they've had injuries and multiple injuries there. So I could see how they're maybe moving away from another player and deciding that McKinney, who has been healthy for the Texans, might be a player that is already under contract and that they might keep. I honestly, like I said, did not think and do not think that McKinney is someone who they should move this year, maybe consider moving him next year. Uh, but other than that, bro, unless you have his replacement in the building, you know, it's tough to move him. Now, I do honestly believe the Texans will be making major moves in this draft. I know that they're going to be trading down. That, to me, is for sure going to happen. Uh, but the other thing is maybe they trade for a player for a pick just like they did with Brandon Cooks. They feel like it's already, you know, you heard you heard Bill O'Brien talk about how hard it's going to be for rookies based on this Rona uh, how it's affecting football. And so his mind state is bring in a proven player uh, compared to, you know, bringing a rookie. Uh, but to me, if the contract doesn't make sense, that to me is crazy. With Brandon Cooks, you know, the Rams decided to pay for his contract. Um, so, you know, the Texans are getting away with paying Brandon Cooks a cheap, cheap, cheap annual salary. But, you know, trading for, for, for Adams... Uh, and, and adding to your safety group, I feel like he might give you two years without having to renew a contract. But other than that, man, you're going to have to show up and, and pay the man. And you already got Cunningham, who you need to pay. You have Deshaun Watson, who you need to pay. You have Larry Mintunso, who you have to pay. And so, you know, I'm not sure how they will make that all work with the cap. But I do know that they need to start looking at drafting talent because... Those contracts are cheap for four or five years. I almost forgot, man. Um, the Justin Reed interest in having his brother be here. That's something to look forward to. Look, uh, Eric Reed hasn't signed with anybody, man. The thing with me is he's finding the CBA and trying to get language adjusted. And I'm all getting good for it because if you really study it, it looks like the old heads, the veterans are getting really screwed on this deal and the youngins, you know, they're 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 coming up, but you know, eventually the young turn into the old head. So it's like, you know, I understand the fight, but the question is do the Texans understand the fight that Eric Reed is having and are they afraid that his influence and his voice is something that they don't want in the locker room, which we obviously know O'Brien has a problem with egos that, you know, are that way. So you know, another thing to keep an eye on. But anyways, man, looking at this safety group, man, you have obviously the best Justin Reed back there, a steal in our draft for us. Um, obviously, you know, a good good addition to this team. You have Tashawn Gibson, 
who was not mentioned in that press conference. Um, so he might be a player who's rehabilitating, might not be there at the beginning of the season. You saw Jalea die, who did not get resigned. Look, when you needed to count on Jalea die the most, he got an injury. And unfortunately, that, that did hurt us. Not that he was going to be such an impactful player against the Chiefs, but it does help not to have to put Lonnie Johnson as your safety against their tight end um, and, you know, get exposed like they did. So I guess that's that's why they brought the Murray guy. I just, I don't, like, there's nothing but like a minute and something tape on the Murray guy. So to me, it's like, what what makes you think that that's even a die's replacement? Because, like, a die has way more tape out there and more experience for me to be like, why don't you just resign a die? Unless a die was obviously asking for a lot of money. But look, a die still not still hasn't signed with any team. So it's crazy, crazy. So I definitely see them drafting the safety in this draft. Um, but keep an eye on the Jets and Adams, man, because. Even if they don't find a trade partner, you know, obviously Cowboys have offered a first previously, but now there's talks of Adams holding out. And obviously we know with the CBA, you know, it's not so easy for them to hold out. They do got to pay more penalties. But look, man, if somebody and a player doesn't want to be there, they don't really care, especially if they can find a way to make those payments and not really suffer and make up for it in the latter, you know, of their of their new contract. So very, very, very... Um, it's going to be very interesting to see what goes around in there. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, look, Jonathan Owen, I think, is the other safety that we have. Like, who is this guy? Like, I haven't seen him play. Like, you know, might have been just somebody they picked up. I don't, I really honestly don't know where he came from. And then Jalen Watkins is someone that they've seen and they call versatile, who's, you know, moved, uh, you know, from playing corner, inside corner, outside corner, and then, and then safety at times. So, Look, I, I really honestly think that the Watkins and the Murray are just deaf. But I don't think that in O'Brien's mind, those are the players that he wants starting. So that's why I ultimately think that they have to and they will pick up a safety in this draft. Uh, either in the fourth or the third. Um, and then I would say um, A.J. Moore. I mean, he's a great special teamer, so I don't think he's going anywhere. But his position as safety, like, I don't think they... They really are going to use him for that unless they go down with injuries and they extremely need him. So that's a position to look and keep an eye on uh, because I believe that besides getting the defensive tackle and a defensive end, that is a position that they'll be looking at next to use to improve this team. And this team does need it because that hurt us against the Chiefs um, big time, big time. I mean... You know, Adai helped us in the Bills game, but I think if Adai's not there in the Bills game, it would have been, maybe looked a lot worse than it already had looked for us in that game. Um, you know, let's not pretend like we dominated the Bills. We got lucky uh, that Deshaun Watson uh, did what he did, put the S on his chest, and, uh, you know, like Booker McFarland said, make a play and carry this team and put this team on his back. So... You know, you can't depend on Deshaun Watson to do everything, man. And you got to build around him. So that's ex exactly what they're going to go ahead and do. And it'll be interesting to see, man. But we are only a couple of days away from the draft, man. Only a couple of days away from the draft. I would say besides the draft, man, do not miss today. Today, bro, a 10-part documentary. The start of it of the last dance with Michael Jordan and the Bulls, man. I know we're talking about football, man, but you cannot miss that. I just wanted to put that plug in there. Uh, but yeah, man, let's see what happened. That's my spill.